What is your dream? I had a telescope when I was a kid and I was amazed by, by the universe. I had a teacher that told us that there were much more mysteries inside the brain than in the whole universe. And that's why I became interested in neuroscience. When I was eight, I, I knew for the first time about the life of Leonardo da Vinci and I fell in love with the curiosity of that guy. When I decided to become a scientist, well, uh, frankly speaking, I never considered even in my young years, I never considered to be something else than the scientists. Welcome to the research group on nonlinear dynamics, nonlinear optics and lasers at UPC University. We study linear and especially nonlinear phenomena in photonics, in biology and in other physical systems. One of my strongest motivation in doing research is the interaction that we have with our uh, students. They come from all over the world, they are young, bright, ambitious, and if I can do something to help them to start their career, then I'm happy. We are studying new optical materials called photonic crystals that are able to extensively control the propagation of the light. From one side, these materials can be used to design passive optical elements like mirrors, lenses, filters and optical waveguides. But from the other side, it can be used as active devices for all optical photonic circuits for telecommunication systems, avoiding the electronic processing of the signal. So what we are doing is design and study very tiny devices capable to perform ultra-fast all-optical functions at nanometric scale. What keeps me going? Um, well, first of all, research is, makes fun. If somebody tells you that research is very important for technologies, it perhaps is true, but he perhaps no real researcher, he is more technologist or more, or more business person or, or whatever. The research of my group is focused on the improving of the spatial quality of the beams, of the laser beams, uh, by letting them to propagate through the micro-structured materials. It's especially motivating the collaboration with other people. At present, we have opened different works with people in Germany, in Turkey, in Korea, in Gandia, and it's really fascinating to study effects in different fields, such as the case of novel wave propagation effects in optics or in acoustics. Losses have always been considered of one of the major drawbacks of optical devices, but now working beyond photonic crystals with gain and loss modulations, we've seen that we can even take advantage from loss distributions. Our common research with Kestutis and Muriel about complex crystals, it is with index modulations but also with gain loss modulations, makes possible the management of diffraction and also diffusion of light at these microscopic scales where these effects are very difficult to avoid. The relationship between the group is very strong with full discussions about science but also friendly social events as uh, sharing our cooking acknowledgements or doing a sports together. I think engineering is it's quite funny and quite interesting for me because you have to face the problem and you have to solve it. Of course, science is, is it's a lot of fun because it is like an adventure. You don't, you're going somewhere where you have never been before <clears throat> and in fact where nobody has ever been before. Our research activity is mainly involved with experimental uh, implementation of different techniques for the interaction of light with matter. As a main of example, we treat with ultra short pulses of femtosecond duration. These so short pulses are mainly used for communications or for just uh, study of dynamics. And particularly what we want to do is to characterize these kind of pulses. My advice for young students is that if you like physics, you have to try to work in this field. 
because you will get a lot of satisfaction on it. You are measuring now? Yeah. Our research is focused on complex systems and in particular we study uh, laser dynamics and we study the interaction of complex systems and climate, in particular complex networks. We are collaborating with private companies and they are participating in the training of the students and this participation will open the students uh, future job opportunities as they are familiar with the private sector work environment. We are coordinating a European project which involves nine partners all around Europe that focus on understanding the climate from the point of view of complex systems. In this group I have found the, the great idea of working in many different disciplines at the same time because when you're studying complex systems you can find complex systems in the brain, in stars, in social networks, in Twitter for example or in semiconductor lasers. You don't have to expect anything from science but experience, the history has taught us that when you put money into science then you get lots of different applications. Atoscience is the science uh, of the atosecond. One atosecond is uh, 10 to the minus 18 seconds. This is the natural time scale of the electron moving around the nucleus. One of the applications of a strong field physics is the generation of X-rays uh, which have the properties of laser light. Imagine that by understanding the dynamics of the brain we can cure illness like Alzheimer, epilepsy, multiple sclerosis and so on. Or imagine that we can control at will uh, the production or the prevention of fracture in systems which are technologically relevant. I study systems which are composed by many subsystems which interact uh, forming a network, for instance in the brain or in a cell signaling and also in systems which are part of the solid state world as a fracture dynamics, convection or solidification. We are used to, play, to go to places like Boston uh, uh, where we collaborate with people from the Northeastern University in fracture dynamics and for instance Lausanne uh, where we collaborate with people in the field of uh, brain dynamics. One thing I'm interested to understand, for example, is how biological systems copy information and how can they do it with a re remarkable accuracy. For example, if biological information was like a book, uh, the errors a biological system would do is something like one character every 10,000 books. This is quite remarkable and uh, I would like to understand how does it work. Well, a beautiful thing about research is that uh, uh, ideas that can seem very abstract and far from uh, any practical application can actually have in the future incredibly important uh, uh, application for industry and for uh, economy. We do not have any real application with a lot of basic research behind. Science is very, very relevant for our society. Patients, for instance, uh, that have brain problems will be uh, treated with more efficiently. Okay. Is it going? Yeah.